Okay, the draw for the super prestigious Metropolitan Handicap, one of the most storied dirt races in uh, North America. A field of 12 has been officially entered here. Uh, the morning line favorite is uh, more spirit, five to two, post position nine. I, I don't know that the morning line favorite for the Metropolitan Handicap has ever made his most recent start at Lone Star Park, but that's the case with more spirit who began, you know, before that race ran in the Essex Stakes, which isn't even a graded race at Oakland, but he's, he's pretty fast. I mean, I think he's a pretty, he's five to two. He's, you know, he's a tepid choice in, in my opinion. I think the horse to beat is Sharp Azteca, post position five. He's seven to two on the line. He last raced in Dubai. Uh, just, you know, he ran a really strong race there. He just moved too early in that race and got tired and caught at the end. Uh, the horse has excellent form from before that race. Post five should be fine for him. I think a couple others of note, post 12, awesome slew. That's not a bad draw at all. It's a one turn mile. He's got plenty of time to get in position. He had post one last time in the Churchill Downs handicap, which was a bad draw. It might have cost him the win. He came running late to finish second in that race. Also, uh, out of that race, in this race, the Metropolitan is in post position eight, Tom's Ready, who won the Woody Stevens on this track, going seven furlongs, similar configuration to the Metropolitan Handicap last year. He's priced at 15 to one on the line. I would take that in a heartbeat. I think he'll probably be shorter than that. He should improve off his last race, and I think he's a pretty live contender. Moving on to the other uh, race that they drew here, the Manhattan, a mile and a quarter turf race um, for older horses. A field of nine, really strong field. Um, you know, I, I I don't really see the morning line as being the way I would have made it here. They have world approval as the three to one morning line choice. He's in post position three. I think he's a major contender in the race. He finished third last year after setting the pace. Comes off a really solid win in the Dixie, which was the second start of the year. He's in fine form. Should run well. I don't think he's the morning line favorite. I don't think he's the post time favorite in this race. I, I, I'm guessing that will be time test. Post position four, one of three in the race for trainer Chad Brown. He was made five to one on the line. I see him as probably half that price. Uh, he made his first start of the year, first start since being transferred to Brown for, by Judmont Farms. Um, he was campaigned based in England the rest of his career. He came here because he's a horse that wants firm turf, and in his first start this year, he did not get firm turf. He was compromised by the conditions. Uh, the course on Saturday is gonna suit him a lot more. He is the uh, best horse in the race, and I think he is gonna be formidable. Um, a, a major player is the Visadero, post position seven. He bounced back into form finally last time and won the Turf Classic for the second year in a row on Kentucky Derby Day. He has a win on the Belmont course. At his best, he's dangerous. Uh, Brown's also got Beach Patrol, um, who's four to one on the line. Beach Patrol has run second three times in a row in Group One races. One, I'm sorry, Grade One races. Yeah, I got my Euro on there. He won the Grade One Secretariat over a mile and a quarter last year for three-year-olds at Arlington. He's a horse that's going to be right there um, with the best in this division. Maybe not quite good enough. Uh, but an excellent field for the uh, two grade one races preceding the Belmont Stakes.